How's it going, everyone? So, this thing is so cold, I can barely hold it. Holy shit. All the people that think I have achieved nothing, I think you still got a lifetime of learning ahead of you. So, uh, this is the transmitter, obviously. <laughs> it's, it's already perfected. It's sitting on my knee. I mean, perfected. So, what is this? Well, that's your capacitor. We did away with the capacitor because they're subject to fail. So there's your capacitor. It's called automatic tuning. <laughs> the L3 coil really isn't necessary. We can take that off of there. I've done 100% perfection resonant tuning to all three of those coils in the simplest format possible. Okay? Let me say that again. In the simplest format possible. Let's explain it. We have, like I showed you, the air gap, which the entire world has been modifying Tesla's patents to get rid of that damn thing. They don't want anything known about the air gap, okay? Because that automatically tunes the damn thing to resonance. So, you add your ZVS here, that is a high voltage supply, like an NST three wire, right? With an earth ground. It doesn't need to be earth grounded in this situation. The driver is not earth grounded. The secondary is earth grounded. Okay? And you are going to transmit this resonant frequency that's, uh, that's moving up and down here. This is completely open ended. There's nothing on this end. All you're doing is resonating a 100 foot long piece of wire with a 25 foot piece of wire. You work with those parameters, you're done. Put two bolts here. I like to use brass. Spread the gap until it does not spark. And tune it that way until the coil becomes resonant with the, Z, uh, with the uh, neon tubes that I have displayed on how to show resonance when your coils are talking 100% in resonance. This is your transmitter and it runs on about 6 watts. You put this into the ground. And I just, in my last video explain the receiver coil and how it's properly wound to get hundreds to thousands of amps. Have a great day.